hi everyone this is like my 700th time filming this intro because i can't say everything i want to in a short amount of time so i'm gonna try this time so we're gonna go through this really fast one i haven't uploaded in forever just because i felt like i needed to personally take a break because i was in a little bit of a, like a bad headspace and like i just needed to spend time with my family get my health back on track and like all that shit and like i'm doing a lot better now so like i'm looking forward to start uploading like more consistently because like i really enjoy uploading yeah hoping to get back on that grind secondly a lot of you guys are probably new and welcome and hi thank you for being here and you guys probably came from brad mondo's channel it's like crazy he reacted to my vid but it's like i don't really know how to like respond to that and like i haven't really because like i don't know what to do do i like comment on his video like hey man like do i say hey that's me like you know what's up dude like what do i say <laughs> On that topic, since I haven't really addressed any of that stuff, I might do a Q&A. So if you want to leave me questions on my hair, leave them in the comments. And then the third thing is, I just want to say that right now, times are really tough with this whole virus. I just hope everyone is staying home, safe, and healthy. I just know this is a really tough time for people who, like, do live with older people. And, like, a lot of people my age, they live by themselves, so they aren't really that concerned. Concerned, but like I just hope that as a community we'll come together and realize this impacts everyone it may not directly impact you but it will eventually impact someone you care about and like that's not cool you know so I just hope we all realize this is as big of a deal as it is I just hope everyone's doing okay and I just want to say that and yeah please enjoy the video okay bye guys Hey everyone, I am going out to a darty today, which I know, crazy, I never do that. Yeah, so I'm gonna go out to a darty because I'm friends with some beta guys and they're having a party today and I told them I would go and support, so that's what I'm doing. And then I might go party hopping and try some other parties like KA and Fiji. Yeah, so this is just gonna be a get ready for me. <laughs> This is just gonna be a get ready with me for a party. Hey, okay, so anyways, game plan. Whenever I get ready, I always start with my outfit. So, outfit. I think I'm in the mood for shorts because it's really hot out. So yeah, I'm gonna try and do that. I have not worn shorts yet this year, so this will be exciting. Okay. This is an outfit, but like, I don't know. Like, something about this top, I don't know. Maybe the shorts. Okay, I think I have decided on this outfit. And then I got these boots! Look at how cute they are! Okay, yeah, that's my outfit, so. Gonna go wet this. Okay, and then also this key, I like to put it on here so I don't lose it. And then my sun ID, gonna just tuck this in here. Okay. So now we get ready. I start out with moisturizing my lips. Gotta get them good and moisturized because you don't know who, you don't know if you're gonna see a cute boy or not. You need those lips to be moisturized. Guys, also last night, I hung out with some beta guys and we went to Scottsdale and we went to this really nice house with a really nice pool and hot tub. And this one guy ordered, it was like close to $200 worth of McDonald's the most McDonald's I've ever seen in my life. It was crazy. I was stuffed. I don't think I want to eat McDonald's for <coughs> Oh my god, my nose. I don't think I want to eat McDonald's for a minute now. It was crazy. Okay, so now I have this pore filler from NYX. Just gonna prime my face. So guys, I think I want to like go all out on the makeup today because I have it in a minute and I like when I have false eyelashes on. I just think it makes my eyes look bigger and better so i'm not really sure how much i should put on but i just put enough on until i feel my whole face is covered and like we're gonna be sweating so we gotta make sure our face is fucking primed primed my dude okay so um this is like kind of still too dark for me right now Oh my god, I need to wear my fucking retainer! Oh my god! But anyways, so this foundation is probably 
still too long for me and I barely have enough of it left. This might get me through this, maybe. Like I'm struggling to pull shit out. Also, I have a little area going down there right now. I'm just gonna color correct a little. There we go. Like I am struggling to get product out of this. Guys, I have a physics exam coming up, kind of stressing for that. It's on circuits, so it shouldn't be that bad, but like, you know, still stressing. So, probably not smart of me to go out this weekend, but like, I never go out, so it's like, who gives a fuck? And then the reason I'm looking right here is because my mirror is right here. Sorry if that's annoying. Then you gotta go down the neck. And sorry I'm not very talkative while I do my makeup. It's just because I'm trying to focus and get through this kind of fast. Because naturally, makeup takes me a very long time because I'm a perfectionist. So I gotta make sure everything's blended out perfectly. Gotta blend it into the hairline. Oh, you're gonna be able to see that my body's a different color than my face. Oh well over it okay and then while i do my foundation a lot of the times so my septum gets moved so i gotta move it back and sometimes that can be a real pain in the ass and it can take me a while to get it adjusted back okay I'm gonna spot correct and then um under eye concealer and then i learned with this concealer under the eyes, you can't let it sit for long or else it's really hard to blend out. Also, that was the e.l.f. whatever. E.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer. I actually fuck with this quite a bit. Oh yeah, foundation wet and wild. I don't normally use drugstore foundation, but like that foundation like kind of does it for me and it's like super duper cheap. So like I fuck with it. Guys, I hope I get some pictures today. And then I just go over with the big side to blend it out. And then what I do with spots is I just go in with this and it like makes it more um, opaque. No, no, no. It makes it more intense. Like the coloring less transparent. And because the concealer sat there for a minute, it like the concealer works better. And because it's, I'm stippling, it's like not taking away as much concealer. Guys, this will not go away. I keep picking at it. I'm so bad with that. I pick at my scabs so bad. And then I just go back over with the beauty blender, make sure everything's blended. Sorry, this is not a beauty blender. It's from Eco Tools. But you get what I'm saying. And then if I see that the blender took some of that away, I just put a little more back on. So I think that's done so then the powder this like isn't that good of a powder it's wet and wild pressed powder photo focus it's okay there's just not a lot of payoff i guess obviously i want this to be translucent but like i go like this and you can barely see anything on the brush you dig now i go back in and put on some more chapstick to re-moisturize my lips because the powder took some of that away damn my chin's kind of itchy right there i just gonna reapply some powder so now I go in and I contour. So when I'm in a rush, I don't usually contour. But like, I'm going all out today, so why the fuck not? So I use the Lorlac, the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. And I use medium contour. And I just lightly brush where my cheekbones are. Make sure it's all blended. And then I do the other side. And then I go under the jawbone. And then I connect the two. Guys, I've been wanting to film one of these for so long, but the thing is, when I do my makeup, I love to like watch TV or listen to music, so that's why I don't record that often while I'm getting ready. Make sure it's really contoured. And then for my nose, I take this small little Mary Kay brush, this is so old, and I go in and I just lightly contour my nose. I have not contoured my nose in a minute. I feel like it's so hard to contour my nose just because my nose is so black because I'm Chinese. Uh, it's so hard to tell when my nose is fine. I'm just gonna like, go with that. And then I just buff out the line so it's not as harsh. Am I getting a pimple right here? What the fuck? 
Now, I go between Lorac and Wet n Wild bronzer. You know, I want to look bougie today, so we're going to go with the Lorac. I love this bronzer. I love it, love it, love it. Because, like, it actually shows up on my skin. So I just bronze where I didn't contour. Gotta make the forehead look small. This is definitely Catfish 101. I go ham with the bronzer because I want to look like a Greek goddess, like a bronzy Greek goddess. And then I take my powder brush and I just go over it, blend out the lines. You want everything to be seamless. The bronzer doesn't look that intense, I'm just gonna add a little bit more on the forehead area. Now we're gonna do blush. I've been liking this blush by Milani a lot. It's the Berry Amour Number no. 3 Baked Powder, but I don't know, I might go darker because like I have more of a darker vibe on right now. So I might do the Found Baked Illuminating Blush Number no. 80. It's a rose gold. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one today. And then I like to go really high up with my blush. I like to blend it into my bronzer. I feel like the more I go up, with my blush, the thinner my face looks. Now we do highlighter. Normally my favorites aren't in the drugstore, but this highlighter is gas. This is the Maybelline New York Master Chrome by Face Studio. It's a metallic highlighter and it's in number 100 Molten Gold. It's so good. This is like one of the best highlighters I've tried. And like for it being at the drugstore, that's gas, bro. And then I do kind of go ham with the highlighter too. Cause who doesn't want to glow right down the tip of my nose? I think when you highlight your nose, it's the cutest thing ever. Cause look at my nose now. Now onto the eyebrows. Now, probably my least favorite part of makeup, my fucking eyebrows. Cause it takes me so fucking long to do them. Okay. I get real close to the mirror. So first I brush them up into kind of the shape I want them to be in. And then I just start going at it. I do the top. Okay, so I, no cap, I do draw my eyebrows in. So sorry if like that weirds you out or anything, but like I have light ass eyebrows and I have dark ass hair, so it, it's okay. And then I do use my fingers a lot to like blend my eyebrows or to like fade them. And like a lot of times I'll just keep fidgeting with my eyebrows because I'll be like, oh, they're not, they're not good, they're not good. And a lot of times I won't know if my eyebrow's good until I do the other one. Okay, I actually kind of like that eyebrow. But like you can completely see the difference between my eyebrows. Not there, there, not there, there. Okay, so then I just try and get this one as similar to that one as possible. And then I mostly follow my natural shape, but I do kind of give it more of an arc because my eyebrows are kind of a little flat. Oh, there's makeup on my shirt. Fuck. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, I'm going to try and go with this. Okay, I think I got the majority of the makeup out. But like, anyways, back to the eyebrows. The part that stops me the most is getting the front part right. Cause like, it's not fucking even. That might be as good as we're gonna fucking get. But guess what? I always fucking touch my eyebrows. So then I gotta go back in. Okay, I think that might be as good as we're gonna get. We're gonna leave my eyebrows at that because I do not wanna keep messing with them. On to the next part, which is eyeshadow. The palette I use for eyeshadow that's been doing me good lately has been Milani Soft and Sultry. I usually use this column right here. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. Am I a beauty guru now? Let me try and get the name of this. This is Tantation Lit. So I'm gonna take this and go in my crease. Oh yeah, for my brows, I did the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. I'm realizing I kind of have a lot of Wet n Wild stuff, more than I thought. And so now, to add dimension, I'm going in with Foxy Lady. And I actually do like this shade a lot. And now I'm gonna go in with a more defined brush and I'm gonna go for After Hours right here and I'm just gonna blend this into the corner of my eye to 
give my eyes some dimension because I have fucking monolids. Thank you to my Chinese parents. Guys, I can't believe I just did that. But if you're still watching at this point, we're chill with that, you know? We're comfortable with doing that. Do you ever just dip into the wrong thing and you're like, fuck, I'm just gonna add a little more coloring. And now, with the brush I had before, I'm going to blend. Okay, what helps me do my eyeshadow because I have my eyelids is if I lift my eyebrows. And then um, I'm gonna take this small pencil brush. I'm gonna take the black, a naughty night, and I'm just gonna go in the corners and I'm just gonna add some black. And then I take the brush I was doing before and I blend it up. But I do not blend all the way. I just blend in the corner because I do not want the black going all over. Ugh, when you touch your eyeball, that's fine. Fuck! God damn it. Guys, sorry, my brushes aren't that good. I'm a broke college student. And then I'm just gonna put a little more in this area. And then I go back in with extra black, darken it up. And the thing about my eyelids, they aren't fucking even. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but they aren't even. So, I kind of just have to deal with that. I usually just like do everything normally, but like sometimes I put a little more product on this eye to make it even. Okay, so now under the eye, I take this brush, flatter, and I go with Foxy Lady, and I go under the eye. Then I go in with the darker brown after hours, and I just go in the corner. So then that's that with eyeshadow. And then now we do eyelashes. Okay, so eyeliner first though. So I'm gonna go, wait. Okay, let's pick eyelashes first. So I have these, I have these, I have these, I have these. I have all these eyelashes and I don't know which ones to choose. So I feel like this is a little too much. Like I want eyelashes that will show. I personally think the ones that don't flare out look better on me, but like maybe I should try them. Guys, I'm fucking insane, but I'm freezing. My room's at 80 degrees, and I'm gonna turn it up. You know what? I'm gonna try these. But, like, they aren't that prominent. Maybe I might try the kiss. I've decided I'm gonna try the Lash Couture Fox Faux Mink Collection. Yeah, we're gonna try these. Okay, so before I put on mascara or anything, I am going to take these out and measure them on my eyeball because too many times it has happened where they're too long for my eyeball and then they get really annoying throughout the day. Okay, so you have to be really careful with taking these out of the packaging so you don't break them because I have broken multiple trying to get them out. I'm going to use tweezers. Okay, we're just going to see how these look on the eyeball. Like, are they the effect I want? Damn, bro, there's like nothing on these. Dude, there's like no flair to these at all. I kind of want something more. I'm gonna put that one back in the packaging. And we're gonna try a different one. Let's see if these eyelashes will be any better. And these are even fucking worse. Not gonna fucking wear those. Mm -mm. You know what? I'm just gonna try these again. We'll see how these go. I'm just gonna assume they're too long for my eye, like all out eyelashes, so I'm just gonna snip snip. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna the same way. Fuck, I keep dropping my eyelashes. So, eyeliner. Okay, so now I'm gonna put mascara on the eyelashes. Fuck me. Do you see I got mascara on my nose? Like, why that gotta happen though? In the meantime, I am going to put my eyelashes on. So a trick when you get mascara on your nose, let it dry and then you can like scrape it off. I'm trying to like figure out what to scrape it off. I can't believe I'm doing that. But like, it works. And then you always wanna bend the eyelashes before you put Fuck, it's kind of poking the inner corner of my eye. There we go. Damn, I kind of like these eyelashes. You want to wait until the glue is like starting to become clear. It definitely helps me to use a tool. I definitely recommend using a tool. Okay, so I just put my other eyelash on. And the last thing I do, I'm going to use Milani finish spray. I'm just going to go. 
because who knows what today is going to entail. And then moisturize the lips one last time. And then I never used to be a fan of lip gloss, but recently I've been loving it. I use the Burt's Bees. They have good lip gloss. Okay, and then that's me getting ready to go out. Finished fucking look. Yeah, so just a little something. Yeah, this is my glam makeup with the falsies. This is what I do. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Oh, look at that. Okay, bye. See ya.